all right guys welcome back to more red dead redemption 2 playthrough i hope you guys are pumped and ready for this let's play if you want more red dead redemption 2 let's plays do yourself a quick solid favor subscribe like the video so we're gonna still do our giveaway for our 200 subscriber one lucky winner will get a playstation 25 dollar gift card for my first 200 subscriber so anyway sit back Relax and enjoy this video. We're running in our journal yet again. See any other missions we have available. So we just did the Braithway missions. We got a Lenny mission. We got an Abigail Whoppers mission. I think we should do a Lenny mission. I think Lenny is by far the funniest character in the game. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But yeah, I think Lenny's by far the funniest character, and so is Uncle. I think Jack Black, if they ever do a Red Dead Redemption movie or series or TV show, I think Jack Black will be a perfect fit for Uncle. Best kid. You got a lot on? I see you in a badge, Arthur. Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. They have been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to Reckon there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. It's just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some fools. All right, looks like we're going to go to the Shady Bell and rob these idiots. But yeah, I think Jack Black will be a top pig for her uncle. Come on, it's this way. On me. And I think, I don't know who will play Arthur Morgan. Let me know down in the comments on what care actor will play, be a perfect fit for Arthur Morgan. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie. When we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler. Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. 
It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all... Who you are, right. decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shining and their guns still shooting. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Yep! Look out! <laughs> Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. Of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. So the old churchyard, huh? See what's going on over there. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Yeah, if I had a time machine, I would go. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Yeah, if I. It doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. All right, inspect. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. Alright, so we gotta tail this fool. See where he's heading. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Should grab our weapons just to be safe. Oh, okay. Gotta put Mr. my scope Moore. out. When you've had a look, tell me what to do. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? But these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. 
Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. I'd like to send Lenny to see the performance. Go on in, kid. Give them both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Yeah, it didn't look like he, that money had it. Got him. Headshot. See him. I was trying to aim at it. I'm just gonna start shooting up the place, to be honest with you guys. Got him. Got him in the nuts. Where do you come from?
Headshot. I think there's a lot of guys to loot. Quick scope. Little friend, yellow belly bastard. Quick, any men in the area would have heard that they might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Gonna loot a couple of these guys, but not all of them. Oh, yeah. Gonna loot this one last dude and that one. This one looks good. And that's about it. I think we should search the crates, Arthur. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yeah. We need to get these back. Shady Bell in one of our wagons. Whoa. Off the let's go. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right. I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately. And I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. It's a better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But enough, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, you know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back.
These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Nice, we got a new rifle. Alright, well I'm gonna go catch some sleep and then we're probably gonna go ahead towards the next main mission. Oh, there is my tent. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. All right, well, I'm going to catch some sleep, and then after that, we're going to do a Hosea mission. But I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Sleep until noon. <laughs> this shocking, it's becoming very. See what kind of main missions we got. We got a Bill Williamson. Ooh, we got a heist going on here. See what we can do. Uh, I think we should do the moonshine first, and then we should do the um the heist mission, cause it's gonna be a big one. Alright, Jose, what do you have to say? Hey, Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. Alright, I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. And why are we selling it back? Where we Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Ma. 
modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. But yeah, if we try to rob the... Rob her, I think. Driver, proceed, please. I think things are gonna go real wrong, really fast if we try to rob her. What you want? Found something out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right, next stop, the Road Saloon. Here we go. All right, looks like we're getting the out, giving out, out free liquor. Yeah, I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <sighs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. What about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Benton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? But yeah, did Moonshine used to be illegal in 1800s? I think it did. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. 
If they have the missions of this for Grand Theft Auto 6, that would be so awesome. If we can mess with the games, with other games like we are doing with Red Dead Redemption, that would be great. Him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come on, yeah, I think there were bartenders. Just hand out the liquor. Let's go uh, sit, hand out some liquor. Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free! Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your day. I'll have one, Fenton. Again. Pour it all the way. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Grab another bottle. Shy right, boys. We're surrounded. This is the of opportunity. Now it's your opportunity to get his. You're a fine man, man. Oh, man. Oh, fine we man. Do, Don't listen boys. to your brother. Over here, Fenton. Maybe they're too drunk. They had way too much to drink. Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? Drinks on the house for the next 30 minutes only. Whoa, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> Maybe oh, stick to water you? instead, pal. Is that like half the town Let's wasted? Oh boy. I knew things were gonna go wrong. Bad, bad idea. Think you can steal from us? You can oh yes, we can. I say, Hosea. Coming out of the alley. Hit the moon 
Yep, they did. I'm surprised they didn't set the whole wagon on fire. Ooh, headshot. Got ya. I think that lady set us up. set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Uh, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Hosea's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something that happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Oh, 
All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one when we do the heist mission. So anyway, be ex I hope you guys are pumped for that. And you guys are. Subscribe and like the video. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Peace out.